Now we're going to go over how to set our S700 series combines up for corn for the outside settings. First thing we'll start at the front left. We want to check our feeder house drum, make sure it is in the up position. This indicator is pointing straight up, indicating we are in the up position on this one. We'll then come around to the concave. We want to make sure our weed inserts are no longer installed and there's no diverters in, in place. We'll then come back to our separator. Make sure that our spacers are installed between the separator and the top rail for corn and we no longer have any diverters in the separator. Then we'll come back to our chopper if you have one installed. We'll make sure the chopper is in low gear. It shows that the T handle being pushed all the way in is low. This one is set correct. And then we'll make sure our knife bank for our chopper is all the way disengaged. See, these are fully retracted. The handle is all the way up. That's correct. And we don't want to forget our crop diverter. We want to make sure when we're in corn, we have this set to the down position or corn. This is what blocks our cobs from being thrown back at the chaffer from the chopper. Then on the S780s and 790s only, we have a tailings rethrasher. We want to make sure that this is set for corn also. Then we'll move up to the feed accelerator. Make sure it is in low. Make sure the belts are on the outside. That'll be low gear. And we'll come up, make sure our chain drive is on the smaller or 26 tooth gear. And then last one, we'll make sure the feeder house drum is in the up position on the right side as well. So that all looks good. So once you get all the settings on the outside correct, which you can find in the Go Harvest app, then we'll move to the inside and set the settings inside the screen.